Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We have the Tech One extendable tripod for your phone. Come, this came from Dollarama for her five dollars. All right, to a theater near you. Toss that. All right, so here's our little unit. Kind of cute, isn't it? All right, it's got a lot of functionality. You undo this little screw. Oh, look at that. Fully extended. Woo, there we go. Yeah, we can go that way um actually better if you even it up you know mm, portrait mode mm, sweet normal landscape mode okay or you can go a few steps in between if you're a little bit cockeyed and going ah okay you can have some fun with this thing obviously even has a level how about that um let's see what would we got how far do we got to push this thing that looks pretty level, according to the little bubble inside, and then when you tighten it up, it's not level anymore. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna fess up. My wife originally bought this, and I wanted to try it out. And um, so I thought, you know, she's had this thing for a few days, and she's been busy, so. And she's got a bigger project in mind for you guys anyway, so check out her channel, Susan Millard. Um, but, um, when it comes to this sort of thing, I thought, let me try it out. And then she thought, do you want to review it? Sure, why not? I like that idea. I need something to do this morning anyways. So um, she let me do the review on this. And of course, now it's also mine too. <laughs> no, I have to decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, Tech One does make some pretty interesting gadgets. Okay, and some of their stuff, is, is I actually have a number of things on their channel, on my channel from them. And... Uh, a lot of their stuff is actually pretty good, but, well, I hate to tell you the great news, but I don't think you should buy this thing, to be honest, all right? Now, it is for your phone, okay? And, of course, they show, you do this, and, up, uh, you do this, and you, you get it in there, and, voila, look at that! As long as you don't blow on it or touch it, your phone hopefully will stay in place. I want to show you something and that's this view okay do you see what's going wrong with this picture so okay let's see if we can fix this there we go we stand it up a bit more but then the top clip pulls further away so now we got to push that back in there like that and there's hardly any of the top clip actually gripping your phone and if you don't use a case metal to metal baby that's gonna slide right off real fast in fact, even with the rubber case with that angle, the first time I inserted my phone into this thing this morning, it blew my phone right out and almost hit the floor. Good thing I'm a quick reflex like a cat because I caught my phone. Um, so, and I only have a thin ESR case on here. Many of you have otter boxes. <laughs> Good luck. Ain't gonna happen, baby. You gotta have a thin case to work with this piece of garbage. And you know what? The part, of, the big part of this is the work. That's the piece of garbage part of this, is this stupid clamp. Which, by the way, you can just unscrew this and toss it away because you don't even need that. Okay, but you will need something like a digital camera. Okay, and then you can put that on, and it is going to be guaranteed 100% certified safe. Alec Abbey. Okay. But don't be too rough on this thing because it is cheap plastic after all. So you do not have to tighten things very much. In fact, that's loosened all the way off. And it doesn't, well, there we go, under its own weight. But one little turny, two little turny, and that ain't budging. Okay, so at least plastic to, pra plastic, to plastic connection, it locks up pretty quick. So you're not going to be able to really abuse this thing for being tight. At least not for that part, anyhow. <laughs> but wait, there's more! Okay, so we can also go into portrait mode. Okay, now this camera shoots pictures and video. Okay, so I can kind of do whatever I want with this little camera. I think this is what they should have marketed it for, not for a cell phone that costs like 12 times more than what this camera did brand new. And this was pretty, not very cheap either. That was still a few hundred dollars. And I've had it for uh, actually quite a few years, and it's actually 16 megapixel. 
It's a beautiful camera. It's waterproof too, up to, what is it, 50 meters or something like that. I've actually taken this thing swimming with me. I have a video, I'm pretty sure, on that where I went swimming with this in our pool in the backyard. It's like, oh, it was cool. Um, so I would say for a camera, camera, like mounting it, like, that'd be fine. It is still a cheap tripod. Keep it, keep in mind. I mean, this at least is all metal here. You know, anything that's silver is definitely metal. The rest of this is plastic. Anything plastic, you've got to be careful with anyways. I've seen really expensive tripods that are made with just as cheap as plastic almost. And it's like, why did that break? Poor manufacturing design. They should have used metal hinges, not plastic junk. Considering the rest of the tripod weighs eight pounds, right? Like, come on, let's be serious. Cut some corners, but not those corners, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, it, do, it does have the features. You can also, you know, rotate it and lock that in place too if you want. You know, it, it's going to lock up pretty good. I mean, that takes a lot for me to twist that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say for five bucks, man, if you're thinking about buying this for your phone because you're a cheapskate, um, it's your bad if your phone gets busted, okay? So take some advisement from me and don't buy this, okay? Have some respect for your expensive gear. Buy a U-Beezer, okay? Now, this is not very tall, but it can rotate, no problem. Da -da -la 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 -la. Okay, and it can also, if you set your thingy up right, and you remember which way the screw goes, which sometimes I don't for some reason, okay? You can also turn this lock, and you can get it all set up right. Anyways, um, I actually screwed this up this morning when I was messing with this thing. Come on, just a little more. Yeah, there we go. And we can double lock it. Now this thing can twist like side to side, front and back, and then you got this front and back too. I mean, and this is a quality mount like this. I trust my phone and it can go big phones. Okay. And it has some width in there too to make up for thicker devices. It ain't going to fit an iPad mini. Don't even think about that. Won't happen. Okay. The other thing is you can buy these U-Clip ones. Now, the only thing about U-Clip is it does have kind of a narrow base on it. Okay. Uh, for the iClip here. But if you set things up correctly and you know what you're doing, you always have your frontal weight facing you. That means you want the front leg in the front. Okay. Not in the backside. So that's where you can take this little adjustment and just go like that. And this opens up quite a bit and it holds your phone safe and secure. I have not had even one issue with either one of these systems, right? I wanted something too that would go behind my monitor for continuity camera because uh, I run a Mac obviously and iPhones and I can use this as a webcam and it's like five million times better than any webcam you can buy okay even a 4k webcam from logic tech can't touch an iphone at 1080p all right so <laughs> guaranteed i'm not i'm not kidding you okay webcams are garbage but using that as a webcam mm, pretty mole but um yeah this is a really nice system for the iClip and yeah okay you're gonna pay more money but you also gotta you get a little push button thing so you can go snapshot snapshot or if you're in photo mode, click, record, get done, click, stop your recording. Nobody even knows you moved your hands, okay? And you can do the same with this, but this is shorter scale, okay? But this also bends the legs into weird positions. You can guess some really weird stuff going on with this, with this little guy here. Um, so yeah, do not buy this under any circumstances. I do not recommend it. But if you must do it and you don't believe what I'm trying to tell you in this video, go ahead, it's only five bucks you're throwing down the toilet anyways. Personally, I'd rather throw that on a coffee and some donuts at the local donut shop, okay? Because then I can fill my body, my belly, and I can have a nice drink, and I'm good. And I actually spent $5 wisely, okay? This was not a wise decision by any means. But we do have to have fun on this channel. We do have to check things out. And you never know. I mean, Tech One has had some really neat stuff that works extremely well. Um, and we've got tech one stuff on the channel. And then of course, now we have this eyesore, which as he just a straight camera tripod for a digital camera. Okay. I could say as long as you're careful with this thing, you, it might last you a while. Okay. But if you're going to stick your phone into that clip, 
you're asking for it. Now it's all on you. So now you can't come back and say, hey, you recommended this. No, I did not. I said, don't. Okay. And I mean it. Don't buy this if you're thinking about just your phone. It ain't going to move well for you in the end. Okay. Especially when it flipped out my iPhone and I still had over a quarter of an inch of that spring length left. Could you imagine if my phone was any wider to use up a little bit more of that? The amount of tension in that top bracket was already coming back anyways. Forget it, baby. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.